Hey my loves, it's Kaylin Rose and I'm back with another video today. To those of you who don't know me, welcome. I'm a teacher and I also am a prophet that teaches faith-based lessons. So today's word is coming out of 2 Samuel 19 verses 6 through 7. And a little background to this is that Joab is literally going off on David and checking him. And so this is a reminder that you need some real godly people and counsel around you when you are an authority for God. When you are a child of God, you need other godly people because if you have the wrong people around you, no one will know how to steer you they're going to be steering you in the wrong direction so in second samuel it says in that you love your enemies and hate your friends now if we just pause right there that's just a word for somebody right there for you have declared today i perceive that if absalom had lived and all of us had died today then it would please you well and his friend said, now arise, go out and speak comfort to your servants. Now, if you don't go out, not one will stay with you this night. And that will be worse for you than all the evil that has befallen from you from your childhood until now. And so David was mourning over Absalom, his own son that had been trying to kill him and had betrayed him, trying to take his throne. So many of you are in a season where you are literally mourning for your enemies too long and not only that you love them more than the people god has presented to you more than the people that are actually for you see you always worried about and running back to the people that show you they are unsupportive they don't like you or they don't accept you for who you are or celebrate you so when God presents you people that actually are for you and uplifting, you don't even show them that same concern as you do for the people that don't love you. You run back to them versus, you know, that newness because it's foreign to you. See, Joab checked him. He said, this has been since childhood. So you were programmed and function to people please, or if it's not people pleasing, that's your problem. You were grown in an environment to where you attract the same people that are not good for you. And that's what you like because of growing up in that environment in your home. So let's say if you were programmed to please your mom or dad, you attract people or friends that you have to dim yourself down to please them or just try to do everything to overcompensate and prove your value or prove your worth or you just just become subject to more so of their needs rather than your own needs and you begin to neglect yourself and so it's like when you're crying over people that aren't for you, you are, you miss out on the community that God is blessing you with. You miss out on the future and the opportunities that God has coming your way. When you keep looking back, when you keep going back towards expired friendships, expired relationships. See, it's just like with sour milk. When you check the date on a milk carton and you see it's expired, you throw it out. So God is in this season. Those relationships, those friendships, that family members, it's expired. You have to let it go. You have to throw it out because it's no good it's of no use once it's expired it's sour it's tasteless it could be moldy 
but everything if you were to ingest it that that sour milk what would you do you get sick so going back to that environment or those people all it does is cause you to get sick and you go into like a relapse you're you're getting worse it's like having you know that drug addiction and you go back to it and now you're getting used to that and so now you may feel like this is as good as it's getting you might accept that that sourness like kind of like when your poop don't stink because when you get too in it you begin to accept it as normal so that's why this message is pretty urgent to not mourn for your enemies too long because god has so much more in store for you god has many people who are already for you who are staying with you who will celebrate and applaud your life and help you and continue to help you grow see god is saying it will be worse for you if you keep holding on to what he has already told you to let go See, the second time you go back, it's worse than it was the first go around. So just know that as a dog returns to its vomit, a fool returns to his folly. So don't return to your folly in this season. Because doing so, everything God has healed upon you, it will literally just you'll be rebuilding again rebuilding and restarting routine to be transparent after i relate to this message because of the fact that i had went back to my family and god just revealed that it was expired see i kept having like my grandma literally made a cake that was expired so i couldn't eat it then i had found some grain bars in her place it was expired and i just kept thinking why is everything expired so god was speaking to me in that moment even some ice cream i ate there was expired so everything and even the situations that was happening that I, the subtle situations that was happening that was showing um me that this is not the environment god has called me to so i just want someone to know if you went back just quickly return to god and you have to repent you have to let go you have to do self-deliverance you got to do whatever you got to do to just make sure you press forward you forget the old things you forget the past and you press towards the mark of jesus because you see god's glory you god reveals how much he loves you all you gotta ask all you gotta do is ask him and he will still bless you even though you didn't choose him, he will still show you his compassion and love, even though you you idolized or had a false realization of these people. Because when you continue to have this false reality of who you want people to be, you can't even appreciate or accept the reality of the people who are good for you, who are good to you, and who are loving God, choosing God, because we, you can't be unequally yoked. If the people you're running after aren't choosing God, aren't submitting to him, aren't repentant, aren't any changes in their lives, if they're not doing the work you're doing, why would you go back to that who's not trying to better themselves to be the best version of themselves to be who god has called them to be who's not walking in purpose because all they're gonna do is distract you all they're gonna do is drag you into 
whatever how they're feeling and then you wonder why you got anxiety and then you wonder why you're having low self-esteem and now you wonder why you're doubting god and you don't have faith and now you don't have any routine or your mental health is declining all because you are drinking something expired so let me tell you three practical lessons from this story number one is that we can spend time focusing on our enemies wanting people to love us and do right by us who aren't capable and haven't showed us sincere change or repentance to god instead of celebrating your victories all that you have achieved you focus on the loss you focus on them seeing as a loss but there is a scripture that says if I lose things or people, but I gain Christ, then it's not a loss at all. And so you need to have that mindset as well. Number two is that you need friends to tell you the truth because Joab told him like it is. And so you have to surround yourself with people with spiritual eyes, spiritual lens who might have already went through what you went through and are currently walking that route. Because I had a godly friend tell me that she doesn't, also you know with family members it's touchy because whether they're in right of standing or alignment with god really matters because it's spiritual warfare and she said that she doesn't really communicate with almost any of her family because of the fact of having impure motives or just not being understanding spiritually wise and so his friend told him the truth and that's how you know he loves him so number three would be next arise and do whatever god is calling you to do so david arose and went to comfort his people and returned to his position of authority so return to doing the last things God has told you to do. So I love you guys. And I hope you guys take heed to this warning. Because God is saying it will only get worse before it gets better. If you continue mourning for your enemies too long. If you continue being around them and hanging around in a place that the date is expired. And you're going to miss the dates that God has appointed for you if you keep holding on and looking back. It's time to look forward only.